the endless lightning storm strikes again. Here, over Lake Maracaibo, lightning strikes 28 times per minute, or 1.2 million strikes per year. But why that much? First, let's answer this question. What is lightning? Why does it happen? Scientists still do not fully agree on what this natural phenomenon is. This is the most widely accepted theory of what lightning is. Inside of a cloud, positively charged particles float to the top of the cloud, and the negatively charged particles sink to the bottom of the cloud. When they both go heavy enough, a bolt of pure electricity rushes towards the ground. This is called a stepped leader. Meanwhile, an upward streamer forms from the ground, working its way to the sky. When the stepped leader and the upward streamer collide, it rises to temperatures of 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is five times as hot as the surface of the sun. The heat creates a loud thunderclap, which can be heard from tens of miles away. So why does it strike so much in Lake Maracaibo? The most widely accepted theory is that of the area's unique topography. The humid, warm air of the Caribbean wafts into the area and is trapped there by the Andes Mountains. The warm air mixes with the cold wind and rises up into the sky, and thunder clouds are formed, heading towards Lake Maracaibo. This phenomenon is called Catatumbo lightning, named after the Catatumbo River that flows nearby. This explains why there is lots of lightning in the Amazon rainforest, the Himalayas, and the Congo Basin. Catatumbo lightning was first documented in 1499 by Emergio Vespucci, an Italian navigator. Amergio Vespucci saw a village on stilts, which reminded him of Venice. He called it Venezuela, meaning Little Venice. That village on stilts is struck by lightning more often than the entire United States. One town a million times smaller than the U.S. is still struck by more lightning than it. Wow. Because lightning strikes this area so often... Locals call the Catatumba River the River of Fire. But both the locals and the people uh, who have been there, they say they are not that scared because they say that the lightning is so astounding that your fear goes away. Adios, Lago Maracaibo.